right, today I'm gonna clean this boiler. This was originally a hot start boiler, which I've recently kind of converted to a cold start slash warm start boiler. Um, and I'm gonna shut it down for the summertime so it's not constantly maintaining temperature. Um, it, it originally had a domestic hot water coil loop in there. Now I've put in this uh, heat pump water heater and that's been great. Uh, actually, you hear the buzzing going right now, the fan's going on that thing. But um, if you don't clean these down before summertime when you shut them down, the um, the um, tank inside that holds water will condensate, and then the soot that's on the uh, heat exchanger—that's the word I was looking for—will uh, harden up and become like a cement. So you really want to clean it down if you're gonna, ever going to shut it down. Um, we'll see how much is in there. Uh, all I'm really going to need today is a soot back, a couple different brushes here, um, and I'll, I'll open up the front and clean it from, I'll clean from the top down, but I'll also just vacuum out the uh, fire chamber too for anything that falls down there. So I'll show you guys some of that stuff. Step one, I'm going to shut the power to the boiler off here, and then I'm going to remove, on this one, I don't have a door that swings, so I have to remove that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, and then there's one that you can't see it's over here in this corner, all four corners. On this boiler too, I'm lucky because these are able, I'm able to flex them. Just kind of swing this out of the way here. in there. All right, here we are looking at the top of the boiler. Now I'm going to remove the top plate. It's pretty easy. Put bolts up here. Just gonna brush it down.
that's what it looks like all cleaned up. It's not cool enough to fire, but... Alright, she caught the heat in a second. 